Hey guys, so long time no video, or at least no kind of sit down chatty video. Lately I have been kind of taking some time for myself as I mentioned in one of my recent Instagram posts and I might end up making kind of an in-depth video about that, maybe a little life update or I might not, I'm not really sure, but yeah, anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for your patience and understanding. But today's video is going to be a try on haul. I know you guys love these videos and I love making them. They're so much fun to film. This year, it has been my mission to expand my style and try out some new styles. So that inspired me to pick up a few new things, which I'm going to show you right now. So let's get into it. First of all, a quick shout out to ShopTagger for sponsoring this video. As you guys know, I'm really picky when it comes to sponsorships, but I'm also sure you know by now that I genuinely love ShopTagger. I use it literally every day. Now that I have ShopTagger, I can never go back. So basically it's an app that allows you to save items that you see online when you're online shopping. And if anything on your ShopTagger list goes on sale, you will instantly get a notification. So you'll get an email and then also a push notification if you have the app. That's actually my favorite way to use it because I'm constantly checking my phone, obviously. Not only will it tell you if something has gone on sale, it'll also tell you if something is low in stock or if it comes back in stock. And that is actually one of the most useful features for me. Let me tell you guys a little story about this bag. <laughs> this is a Topshop like bum bag, waist bag, and I really wanted one of these and I saw they were low in stock. So I added it to my shopping cart and then I messaged my sister to see if she wanted anything from Topshop so we could split the shipping. And as I was waiting for her to reply, the bag went out of stock. <laughs> so I just saved it to my shop tagger list and then I waited about a week and then sure enough, I got a notification as soon as it was back in stock and I got it and I was so happy about it. But yes, if you haven't already downloaded shop tagger, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but seriously, it is so great. I know you guys are going to love it. So if you'd like to download it, I will put a link to it right at the top of the description box below. So I'm going to start with the tops. I have this tie front cropped t-shirt by the brand Pomelo. This was actually my first time shopping from Pomelo. I really love the fit of this t-shirt. It's also a really nice soft fabric. And I was thinking, you know, when I saw it online, maybe I could DIY something like this. You know, I could just get a really big t-shirt and then cut it and then, you know, cut these kind of long flappy bits. But the thing is, this has all been really nicely finished all around the edges of the ties so it's not all frayed and kind of curling over it actually just looks really nice and neat and good quality which is what i really like about it i have a feeling that last item was covered in a bunch of little fuzzies which might have shown up on camera but that would have been because of this next item which is this gray cropped sweatshirt with pink fuzzy sleeves. Just looking at these now, they kind of remind me of like a Muppet or something. And as you can see right here, it's by the brand Fashion Nova. I'm sure you guys are very familiar with it. It's actually, oh my gosh. I didn't realize how much this was shedding. It's like sort of going in my mouth. And the last top I have to share is this t-shirt by Fashion Nova. It's a little cropped white t-shirt with this rainbow stripe print on the front. The fabric is super soft. The only thing is it's very sheer as you can kind of see here. I have been wanting more cute little t-shirts, especially in the kind of cropped length to wear with high-waisted pants and jeans and that kind of thing. Now moving on to shorts, I'm going to start with the ones that I'm the least sure about keeping and then move on to the best ones. I have these bright red high-waisted shorts by Pomelo. This is the second item I picked up from there. They have these cute pleats on the front that make the shorts kick out kind of like a little a-line skirt which is very cute the only thing is these are significantly too big 
I picked up a large because it said that the model was wearing a size medium and she looked a lot smaller than me. So I thought, well, I should probably size up and get a large, but I was wrong and I should have just trusted the measurements that they had on the website, but it's not too bad. I think I should be able to alter these, but if I can't, then I might return these or pop these up on my shop, which I will put here in text form if you guys haven't checked it out and i will also link it in the description box below next i have these frilly little shorts by the brand lipsy london it's my first time trying anything from them i'm pretty sure i picked these up off asos what drew me to these was how cute they looked on the model i just thought they looked really fun and girly and when i go out for a special occasion if i'm not wearing a dress I really like to wear shorts. The only thing is they are quite thin, they aren't lined, they don't have pockets, and considering these factors, they were quite expensive. So for those reasons, I may end up returning these. I've really been interested in the utility look lately, things with belts and buckles and extra pockets. And first I have these shorts, which I suppose I would describe as an army green. They are a high-waisted cuffed short with two pockets on the front and pockets at the back as well. Then right here on the front, they have this detachable little bag. It's just a little zip pouch, which I thought was kind of fun. These look like something that I'd want to wear on like a safari or like a trek or something. They give me those kinds of vibes and they are a really cool style. I'm just not 100% sure on the color and how often I'd wear shorts in this very particular style. And next pair of utility shorts that I have. These ones also come with a bag attached. This one is attached on the hip. It's a little Velcro pouch. I did size up for this particular style because you can get away with it with the belt. And I do like the look of a slightly baggier short that is kind of cinched in at the waist. Now let's talk about pants. Another utility inspired piece. I have these high-waisted denim pants by ASOS. And just looking at these, I bet you guys can't tell the other reason why I might have chosen these. But yes, they are a super dark denim with a white contrast stitch detail. And pants are a style that are kind of something I'm trying to try more of this year, you know, wearing high-waisted pants and jeans and just mixing it up a bit but I don't think these are a keeper. I just think that they would look so much cooler if they were full length as opposed to this cropped length. Something about the wide leg combined with this like fuzzy cropped hem. I don't know, I'm just, it doesn't look good on me at least. So I think these will probably be going back. Also my actual size was sold out. So I ended up sizing up and it like, it just fits me, but I feel like it's not quite as snug as it should be so yeah maybe these just weren't meant to be now this next pair of pants has a matching jacket and this ensemble is definitely very different for me but like i said i'm trying to expand my style to give a bit of backstory for the past four or five years i'm not even kidding it's been that long and it's taken me this long but i have wanted a matching suit kind of like the one that Julia Roberts wears in Pretty Woman. I will insert a picture, of course. I really loved how that looked. And I don't know why I sort of never got around to it. I think it was just that I couldn't find a matching suit like that that would fit quite right. And now suits have become very trendy, which has made it much easier for me to find these kinds of things in stores. So as kind of disappointing it can be when something you really like becomes really trendy, when you look on the positive side, it is good because it becomes more accessible. Now, obviously this one looks completely different to the one she wears in Pretty Woman, but it is a matching suit. It is a matching pants and jacket set by Reclaimed Vintage, and it is in this plaid fabric. I was drawn to this because I just really liked how it looked on the model, you guys. I think I'm just such a sucker for that, especially because ASOS often style their pieces really well and it looked very cute. And here is the jacket 
please excuse this ugly wire hanger. I ran out of my good hangers, which I know I mentioned in my last haul as well. It's a very oversized and lightweight jacket and it has these nice big pockets at the front. I do quite like how this set looks. The pants are very comfy and they are quite a good fit on me still. Similar to with the shorts, I did size up in the pants with the hopes of kind of cinching in the waist myself and having the rest of them remain really baggy. The only thing is it only allows a very thin belt and it doesn't have as many belt loops as I might need to get that look. So it's kind of difficult. Another thing to note with the pants, and this might even be the main reason why I end up not keeping them, is that they don't have pockets, which really, really kills me. But that's the thing, it takes trial and error to figure these things out, and I feel like this is just kind of a step in the direction of me eventually getting a really cute matching suit, even if it's not this exact one. Here are the last pair of pants. They're actually a pair of jeans, and I have already worn them. These are the Subi Clo Waisted Jeans. They are super high-waisted and they are kind of fitted towards the top and then they kind of fall into a straight leg. I think that's technically what it is. It kind of looks like a mom jean kind of fit, but with a cropped raw hem. And it's funny because for a while I was not sure about getting these because of the raw hem. I don't know what it was about it. I guess I just thought, oh, the raw hem's like too trendy. Like I can't get that or it's not gonna look good or I, you know, I want it to be all finished and neat. But when I tried them on, it actually just looked really nice and I think that the cropped length with the raw hem was actually quite flattering. Subi are definitely not cheap and I actually tried two other brands of denim before I bought these because I was trying to find like a dupe of them. I was trying to find something similar that was more affordable and I failed miserably. They looked hideous. The denim felt cheap. They just didn't fit right at all. But that's the thing, you really do pay for quality and a really good cut and fit when you buy from Subi. And final clothing item for the haul before I move on to accessories is my third and final piece from Pomelo that I ordered. It's this gorgeous wrap dress with these little pearl buttons and an attached black and white belt that wraps around the waist. My friend did customize this for me. She added a little snap button closure right here where it wraps because I found that the wrap part wasn't really sitting closed over my chest quite right. When I was going out for my birthday dinner, I wore this dress to it. And when my mom saw it for the first time, she said it looked like something from Gossip Girl. <laughs> Moving on to accessories, the first item I have is this bag that I was talking about at the start of the video. This is by Topshop and it's a bum bag or waist bag or belt bag. <laughs> I've noticed that they have a lot of different names nowadays, but I think it was just labeled as a bum bag. It's in this black quilted faux leather with gold hardware and a zip at the top. It's still got all these stuffing in it. And then the matching belt that just slides in right at the back and you can actually remove the belt as well. These are such a trend right now. And <laughs> this is one of those mainstream trends that I was just like, yes, I'd actually like to participate in this trend. And I thought it would just be fun to try out using a bum bag because I've never used one before. And I'd like to see what it's like to be kind of hands-free. And I also figured that I could even use this at somewhere like Disneyland. And I thought it would be just a fun styling challenge. I wanna see how I can wear this. I have some jewelry to show you guys. I picked both of these necklaces up from ASOS because I feel like I need more everyday necklaces that I can wear. So I tried this one, which is this layered necklace. It has three necklaces all attached in one. I'm not really sure what kinds of things I would style this necklace with yet. I might have to kind of plan some outfits and see whether this particular necklace is worth keeping. And the second one is this tiny little rose pendant on a chain. I really love rose pendants. I have a Vita Kush necklace with a rose pendant on it. So that about concludes this haul. Let me know if you guys were inspired or got any ideas for things that you might like to try. And also let me know what your style goals are for 2018. I'd love to read them in the comments. By the way, if you are new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. I'd love to have you here, especially if you like these kinds of videos. I make them pretty regularly 
And whether you are new or an old subscriber, please be sure to turn on notifications for my channel. I noticed that for some of my last videos, you guys told me that they didn't show up in your subscription box. So definitely turn on notifications. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I will see you in my next one.